Hello everybody, this is Chaplain Anthony Kelly. And today I just wanna to talk to you, especially you guys, about loving your wives. Now, I just had a counseling session the other day and the husband was clueless about how to take care of his wife. The wife is screaming uh, at him and pleading with him, wanting connection, wanting some love from him, wanting some romance from him. And he didn't know what to do. He didn't know how to give that romance. He didn't know how to express it. He never was brought up in a home that had love. It was a more of a dysfunctional home. To top all that off, he was uh, in the army. And so the army is a very non-romantic profession. So this husband didn't know how to romance his wife, and she's pleading for that. You know, she wanted acts of, like her five love languages, one of them was, you know, acts of service, and she wanted him to take care of her. He wanted, she wanted romance, she wanted flowers, she wanted candy, she wanted dates, she wanted to go out and spend time with him on a walk, especially on the German hillsides, holding his hand and just talking to each other and being vulnerable and open and connected with one another. And that's something he didn't have, possess. That's something he couldn't give at that moment. And so he, had, he needed to be taught how to romance, how to love. And I say all that to say this, that those men out there are watching this video, I encourage you as a family life chaplain, one who's responsible in the garrison for counseling couples and individuals and retirees and DOD civilians and even kids, I'm responsible for counseling them all. And one common theme I do see is that men need to show their wives more love. Can't express it enough. You can't define it enough. People say, well, I just bought a Hallmark card and that's enough. I said I love you on it and you must sign my name. That should be enough. No. Is there a poem that you wrote in there? Or maybe you don't even have to come up with some clever poem. You know, quote one of the great poets in history. And you can tell her, hey, this is how I feel about you. And see, there's so many things you can do, guys, out there. So love your wives. And I think the more you do that, the more in return you're going to see your wife give you that love and respect back. And the home will be more peaceful and more loving. And the children will thrive. I'm telling you, psychologically, children will thrive in a home where the two parents are loving all over each other and they show that affection with one another and openly in front of the kids. But what I am saying is, you know, they need to see you kissing and hugging and cuddling on the couch and watching uh, y'all's favorite movie. So I encourage each and every one of you, love your wives. Love each other. You know, that's how Christ loved the church. He sacrificed himself for the church. So I encourage you to love your wives. May God bless you.